everybody, Nick here, and today I got a comparison for you between these two knives. This is the Ontario Rat Number no. 1 in D2 Steel, and this is the Steel Wheel Cut Jack, also in D2 Steel. And I've been trying to do more of these comparison videos lately because they're commonly asked questions, and hopefully it can be helpful to some folks. Um, right here we've got the Rat 1, and look, the Rat 1 has for a long time been my absolute uh, favorite budget sort of knife to recommend to people. And it is in many ways an incredible knife. The ergonomics on it are very good, the steel is very good, it, it's just great in the hand. It offers a bunch of grips. It's well done. It's thin behind the edge. And th th there's a lot of joy to be found in this guy, particularly with the upgraded steel. But the cut jack is sort of a new guy in town. It is a flippin' knife, and it has also incredible ergonomics. It's also got a very nice steel. It can also cut things well, although perhaps not as well as the Rat 1. And it's also in the same price range. These are about 40 bucks both. And uh, they are both very good contenders for the budget sort of category. The biggest thing to think about here is your deployment mechanism. The, the Rat 1 obviously uses a thumb stud, and that's very common for a lot of people, and the detent is dialed in nicely so that it opens reliably with the stud, and uh, the stud's out of the way. Look, this is about as good an, an implementation of a thumb stud as you could want in something. Um, whereas the, uh, the, the the Rat here, I'm sorry, the uh, Cut Jack is using a flip -a tab instead. There is no thumb stud. You can pitch the knife open if you want to, but it's mostly relying on the flip. -a. Um, And so those are two very different mechanisms. If you are a thumb stud person, this is where you go. If you're a flipper person, go down here. In terms of robustness, they're actually very similar. Both have full liners, which is good. Both have D2 steel, which is a very good steel, although not the most rust resistant. So neither is going to be a great choice if you are in a salt marsh most of your time. Um, both are using phosphor bronze washers, although the rat has a very, very thin Teflon washer on there on the top, which, you know, I can more or less ignore. Um, mostly phosphor bronze against the blade. And uh, both are going to be plenty robust in that way. Um, and so that's, that's you know, they're about equal in that way. Um, neither of these is a super ambidextrous knife. Both have options to mount on the left side for the clip here, but both are liner locks, and liner locks are uh, inherently a little bit handed. Uh, the D2, uh, I'm sorry, the Rat 1 here has an option for tip-down carry, whereas the Cut Jack does not, but that's okay. Tip-down carry isn't great either, uh, at least in my personal opinion. You may disagree. One area where where they do substantially differ, although the stock thickness is actually right about the same, although actually no, it looks like the cut jack may be slightly thinner. That could be an optical illusion though. Um, but one area where they do differ is that the rat one is a slightly better slicer. It's hard to see this quite up close, but uh, if you look very closely at the sharpening choils here, you can see that the rat is uh, just a little bit thinner behind the edge than the steel wheel is here. Both of these are quality slicing tools, but um, the, the, the D2 Rat 1 wins slightly by that. Another area of major comparison where there is a contrast here is in weight. Um, both of these are about the same in terms of blade length, but uh, this guy comes in at 3.74 ounces, whereas this guy comes in at 5.0 ounces. This is a lot heavier. It's because you've got a much bigger knife with, you know, much bigger liners and whatnot. Um, and so that is something that's, uh, of course, relevant. And there is slightly less blade length on the, uh, steel wheel, but not by a huge margin. In terms of carryability, the uh, cut jack, again, is the bigger option. Uh, you can see here that it is thicker than the, uh, I'm sorry, the Rat 1 is the bigger option. The, the the Rat 1 is thicker than your cut jack by a pretty substantial margin, and in terms of overall size in the pocket, they are, uh, uh, the Rat 1 is again bigger. The carryability does suffer a little bit from the flip -a tab This has got a big old pocket pecker, a flip -a tab that's just pecking on whatever else is in your pocket all damn day, which makes it a little less enjoyable to carry in some ways, but that extra thinness does bring a lot of joy. And, you know, ultimately... I, I find myself having trouble choosing which one of these is the better tool. And in fact, I don't think there is an answer to that. It's going to come down to a matter of taste. Do you want something that is primarily thumb stud driven and is that is, you know, perhaps a little bit more beefy and robust, then maybe you're going to want to go with the Rat 1. Although, again, the cut jack isn't far off. But if you want something that flips, absolutely 100%, the, uh, the, the cut jack is going to be your better option. And in a lot of ways, I think the cut jack has a much higher fidget factor for a lot of folks. Um, and so, ultimately it's really hard to make a decision, and I'm not going to send you one way or another. This comes down to a matter of taste and a matter of carryability. 
If you're going to be worried about size in the carry, this guy, if you're not down there, I mean, they're both very, very good options. And so if you're looking at these two knives, the big question is, what do you want? Which of these is exciting you more? Because both of them are great values, and I think both of them are great tools that could serve you very, very well for many years to come. Hope this has been interesting to you and uh, that this uh, gave you some information that you have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.